Hey everyone, I am really excited about this one because how many of you know about the iconic little brown bag or medium brown bag from Bloomingdale's? That actually was brought out the year I was born and I am so excited to be doing this video that is sponsored by Bloomingdale's um, because we have a long history together and I've been feeling nostalgic lately and you'll see why in a little bit, um, but it seems to have translated, you know, we're getting closer to spring and I'm missing, there's not a lot of things I miss about living in Chicago. For those of you that aren't familiar, I've lived in Texas for 20 years, but I was born and raised in the Chicago area. I don't miss a lot of it. I don't miss the weather. <laughs> I don't miss the cost of living. I miss lilacs and I miss being able to go to Bloomingdale's. There is no actual Bloomingdale's store where I live. I don't even know if there's one in the entire state of Texas. So when Bloomingdale's reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in doing three videos with them, this is the first of three that you'll be seeing, I jumped at it because you can order online. <laughs> and it kind of brings me a little bit closer to that feeling of going to Bloomingdale's with my mom and my girlfriends and walking, it just, anyway. So this particular video, as is evidenced over my head, is focused on the brand Laura Mercier. And when I started looking at the products that I have and the products that I wanted to buy, I thought, wow, there are some oldies but goodies and true standouts. So this is a focus on Laura Mercier products, old favorites and new finds. So let's start with the old but that is new again to me. So for you longtime YouTube viewers, not of my channel, but just the YouTube beauty genre in general, you will remember when the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, it's changed its name a little bit, um, was the holy grail. Everybody wore it. Specifically, we'd reserve it for filming days because it makes your skin look flawless. And then it sort of disappeared from YouTube and I cannot understand why. I purchased a brand new tube now they have two versions. They have the oil-free, which is better for oily skin. So I picked up the Silk Cream Moisturizing, so better for dry skin, Photo Edition Foundation. I'm still in the same shade. Luckily, that hasn't changed with the formulation. I'm still wearing Rose Ivory. I put it on today. Oh my gosh, why am I? This is so beautiful. I have no concealer on. I have no concealer on. This is amazing. It feels moisturizing. I feel luminous. I don't feel, the only thing I did is I've forgotten how well it coverage. This is covers. This is definitely more, it's medium to full, but it can go full pretty fast. A little of this goes a really long way. The price point is amazing. It's, this is an old favorite and I count this as a new find because I forgot how good it is. So this is definitely staying in my, um, everyday foundation. This is if you haven't tried it in a long time, go get some. Um, if you're still using it, you're smarter than I am. I, I just forgot how amazing this is. So this is an oldie and a goodie. Another favorite that I have had for a very long time and I just keep buying new ones. This is actually my travel one because I'm getting ready to go out of town. So I had it right in front of me to pack. It's the um, Laura Mercier Translucent uh, Loose Setting Powder specifically. There's just something about this powder. It's I have it, like I said, in the translucent shade. It's just, it, it sets without getting cakey. It's, it's a, like, it does what it's supposed to do and it makes your makeup look flawless. I didn't need very much. I just dusted a little bit around my nose, a little bit along this area where my makeup tends to wear off. A little, I used to get a little shiny right here. It's just, it's, it's, there's a reason why it has cult favorite status on the internet. Speaking of cult favorite status, this I came late to the game, but I just purchased a new one because I used up my old jar. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. If you do not set your under eye concealer, you are seriously skipping an important step. And it's not just that it sets it, it's that your, especially as we get older, your concealer actually will crease less if you powder it. I know that seems counterintuitive, but it's absolutely true. And the best under eye setting powder, hands down, is the Secret Brightening Powder. If you put a swatch on the back of your hand, and this is what kept me away from it for so long, it seems as if it's shimmery on the back of my hand. And I thought, ooh, I don't want that under my eyes. But when you use it with a fluffy brush and you just brush it underneath your eye, there's no shine, there's no glitter. It's just this subtle, luminous, beautifully flawless under eye. And it's I use it every 
single day to set my under eye concealer. I do not skip a day. This jar could last, I'd say three years easily because I had the tiny little travel size and there's still a tiny bit left and I've been using it for a really long time. Another one you will be familiar with if you watch my channel, when I wanna warm up my face a little bit, I reach for the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder and I use this all the time. Um, I did go, this is the, the number one shade, so it looks like it's almost too dark for me, but it's not. It just adds, you know, um, it's not deep enough to be a bronzer or anything like that. It's definitely more like a translucent setting powder that's pressed, but it has this, as you can see, this kind of warmth to it. Unless you've tried it, it's kind of hard to explain, but generally, when you put it on to set your foundation before you move on to your next steps with your with your bronzer, blush, whatever, it just makes you look a little more awake and a little more healthy. Now let's talk about what's on my eyes. And again, these are old favorites that I've kind of rediscovered. These are all caviar sticks. Now she has come out with a new matte line of caviar sticks and they're beautiful, but I'm a shimmer girl. I like shimmer, especially on the lids. And what I did today was so easy. Um, this is definitely gonna be one of those looks that I recreate a lot. So if you watch my vlogs, I apologize in advance that you're gonna see this a lot. Um, these, I used three of them. You definitely don't need to go crazy and use three, but I repurchased the shade Rose Gold. I had um, a smaller one that I completely used up and all I did with this is just a little twist, especially if you're traveling. This is great to, to take with you because it's not liquid. And I just did it all over my eye, all the way up to the socket line. And then I took um, like more of a dense brush and just kind of blended it along the edges. Then I took Moonlight, which is sort of like a, it's hard to explain. I will show you what a swatch of it looks like. And I just ran it lightly under my eyes. It it's. It's a little on the lighter side and it just lends some brightness underneath my eyes instead of lining it with something dark. And then something I've never done and I don't know what inspired me to do it, I took Cocoa, which is a dark brown with a little bit of shimmer and I just ran it along the lash line and smudged it up a little bit. It's super easy, it's, it's not fussy, but it, it just adds this nice little glow to my eyes, a little definition and I love these caviar sticks, like these, Right, how many of you have these in your collection? I don't have any with me because I've given them all away. But if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that my go-to teacher gift, friend gift, neighbor gift, stocking stuffer are the Laura Mercier body creams and hand lotions. And they usually come out around the holidays um, with like sets of three to five of them. And so I always recommend buying a few and then dividing them up in, in all the different scents and giving them out to like your kids' teachers or friends, what have you. Well, I also just like having it for myself. I love, love, love the bubble baths and my favorite scent of all time of theirs is the Amber um, Vanille. And they now have, they've had it for a little while, but I just finally got around to buying it, the Eau de Toilette in my favorite scent of all time. It's the Amber Vanille. And if you know me, you know that, I, I'm just gonna have to spray a little on, hang on, I can't, I can't stop myself. You know I love Amber. And usually, Amber can smell very heavy, very warm, maybe better suited for nighttime. But the vanilla in this, oh, it's, it's, I wish you could smell through the screen. The vanilla in this adds a bit of lightness to it. It's beautiful. It's still that beautiful amber undertone, but it's perfect for going into the warmer weather. It's perfect for daytime. I wore it, um, I was wearing it today. I got my hair done, which is why it looks good for a change. And my hairdresser was like, oh my God, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? I'm like, you've got to try this. This is especially great if you like to layer because like I said, they make it the scent in a bubble bath, they make it in a body lotion, they make it I think in a hand cream and then you can slap, like spray this. You'll be smelling like amber all day, every day. So those are my old faves a couple new finds that I am really enjoying. I would love to hear from you if you're a big fan of the brand. What are your go-tos from Laura Mercier? What are some products that you think I would really enjoy adding to my collection? I'd love to hear it. I highly recommend that you go check out bloomingdales.com. If you're like me and you're nowhere near Bloomingdales, it's like having the store inside your computer. Their beauty department is extensive and wonderful. It was really fun placing my order, like playing on the, sorting it and playing online and figuring out what I wanted to get. 
So I urge you to go check it out. I'll put a link below where you can go play in their beauty department virtually, so to speak. Again, thank you to Bloomingdale's for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all of you for making these things possible. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite Laura Mercier products are in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.